welcome back. It's the next day here today. Uh, let's see. We brought the boat out on the pond at night, the pontoon. We had it all lit up. You guys got to see what that looked like. That was pretty cool. All that hard work and time really paid off. That was uh, that was very enjoyable seeing that thing lit up like that. Um, you know, spending the time rebuilding that thing uh, with my my son and my old man was uh, definitely pretty fun. And um, it all paid off cruising around at night with that thing lit up looking as good as it did. So, again, definitely all that hard work and time really paid off in that one moment. That was pretty cool. So, we're definitely looking forward to a lot of time having fun on that thing. Um, they're actually out on the pontoon boat now cruising around the pond enjoying some things and I'm back at home as you can see we're at the house here um, so you guys know I got that little runabout out in the back there that I've been working on I sanded down uh, did some fiberglass in and, and stuff like that um, that's a project that I got um, that's gonna actually I plan on that taking a little bit because uh, I do want to repaint the gel coat uh, I gotta find a new motor for it, you know, stuff like that. So, um, searching for those items on marketplace and uh, different, you know, venues like that. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna jump on the first thing I see. Obviously, I gotta find something that's good um, and at a decent price point too. You know, I got that boat for free, um, but it needs, you know, it needed some work. So, again, that's something that's over time that we're going to get completed. I wasn't really planning on having that thing in the water uh, this year. Um, I mean, it would be nice to, um, and if I just wanted to throw money at it, I, I definitely could, but uh, that wasn't the plan. That was something that, like I said, we're going to source parts for, um, and that's just basically a toy for, you know, putting around the pond, you know, something that kids can use, because I don't want them out driving uh, pontoon boat that we put all that time and money into um, that free little runabout that's not a problem but that being said let's get to the point so the point is that I always look on marketplace and I'm always looking for uh, decent deals and things out there so let me introduce you to what I did today say hello to beautiful Betsy I don't know if that's her name, but here we go. Look at this. So I just picked this up today. This is a 1981 Bayliner Capri. Um, I'd have to look. I'm not really sure. I don't know if it was a 175 or a 185. Uh, this actually came from Oxbow Marina in Northampton, Mass. So that was pretty cool. Um, so what do we got? Just little marks here. It looks like they had something there that they filled. I don't know what that is. This, I believe, is the depth finder that broke off. We got to fix that. Um, supposedly everything works. It has a little Merc uh, Cruiser 2.0. You can see the. Uh, engine cover here is pretty much seen better days so that's gonna have to get redone which I knew that that's not a problem um, and then cleaning up the uh, seats don't look too bad uh, you know they're a little weathered a little old but um, I don't really see any rips or anything there's one little tear uh, on the top of that one right over there just where it's kind of worn away and you can see that they're just a little worn but other than that it just pretty much needs a good cleaning um, want to polish out this gel coat uh, you can see where it's all just oxidized it hasn't been uh, probably washed or polished or anything like that in quite a long time when you look from here it's not too bad gel coats not too too bad um, what I like about this boat is if you look it doesn't look, I mean, here's where, you know, it rubs up when it comes on, you know, um, stuff like that. You can see the water line, but when you look down, I don't see any cracks. It hasn't been bottomed out. 
Uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Underneath doesn't appear to have anywhere where it's been bottomed out. I don't know if you can really see on the camera there. You can see where it's a little bit dirty. Uh, you know, from the water stains and stuff being on it. Like I said, it probably wasn't washed all the time when it got used. Uh, you know, things like that. So, uh, it's going to need a good cleaning, good power washing, some bleach, some scrubbing, little elbow grease. Got one little nick in the gel coat here. That's an easy fix. Looks like got a couple little nicks. Um, but nothing, nothing structural on either side. Um, definitely not bad at all. I mean, really not bad. Like I said, uh, you know, the top of that seat there's got a little rip. It's got a pretty decent newer beam bimini top. Um, the floor is really solid. Um, motor looks pretty good. As you can see, it's not too bad. I mean, definitely not bad. And the trailer is really good. I mean, the trailer is in excellent shape. It's got new tires. So that's a new tire. It doesn't have any dry rot. These tires are brand new. I said there's probably about 10 miles on them. And I believe it because it still has the little uh, rubbers on the tire. Um, nice aluminum trailer. What it needs to be is that needs to get adjusted. It needs to go in. Uh, you can see, I don't know if this is actually the wrong trailer for this boat or what. It looks like the trailer is a little bit big for the boat. But I know that is an adjustable end uh, that can go in. It looks like it could probably slide in maybe another six inches or so. Um, which will bring that right at the end and kind of shorten that down. I believe the tongue extends too. Well, maybe not. I thought the tongue extended, but no. I think that back can come forward and this can go back. Um, kind of shorten it up and let the boat set on the trailer a little bit better. Uh, but for right now, it's not really too bad. Not something I'm going to worry about because we have to make sure that it runs. So the deal was uh, with the motor, I guess they had it running about a month ago uh, when they went to go put it back in the water again. It didn't start um, and they just said, hey, they had a couple other boats, uh, jet skis, things like that. Uh, this one was a little older and they said, you know what, uh, we're going to try and get rid of it. So I checked the oil. They said they did a recent oil change. Your oil was clean, um, didn't stink. It was maybe a little bit over full. I think maybe they probably got about a quart too much in here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to drain a little bit of oil out of it. Um, but he did try starting it for me and you could hear the solenoid in the starter. So I'd be willing to bet that the starter solenoid is just freezing up um, maybe I can get a little electric contact grease in there and kind of free it up I'm gonna have to take it out and play with it uh, you know put some power to it and see if we can't get that solenoid to uh, engage and disengage uh, and do what it's got to do um, and then if that works we'll put it back on and see if we can't start the boat uh, like that um, other than that, I really think that that's it. He said that it ran. It ran fine. Uh, everything's here. I mean, like I said, the boat's pretty solid. It's not in bad shape. It just needs a good cleaning. Uh, this little engine cover here is just some plywood and some vinyl. It looks like somebody had uh, built one years ago and, um, you know, redid it. So this looks like uh, it has been redone. As if you see this vinyl here compared to this, it's a little bit of a different color. Um, and you can see the plywood that they used is um, more of like a wafer board, like a OSB, or we used to call it OBS for oh boy shit. Pardon my English, but um, 
yeah, just trashy plywood. It obviously wasn't like an Advantech, like a marine grade plywood. Um, Advantech's not really marine grade, uh, but it's for building, but it has like a 50 year warranty uh, or a life expectancy in the water. So uh, if it was that type of wood, that should have never happened. It just looks like they used something that was kind of kicking around uh, for the back of that. But then again, that could be the original, and it's about almost 40 years old, or 40 years old, yeah, in 81, so it would be 41 years old. Um, so it could have been rotted up from that. But again, not a big deal. It's pretty solid, as you can see. Uh, I've got a little bit of rot area, stuff like that, but everything is there where I can kind of take it apart, um, trace it on a new plywood and uh, cut that out, foam it, and rewrap it like we did with the um, pontoon seats. Uh, other than that, I see some of it that I'd probably just take off and get rid of. You know, I don't know. Maybe some of that trim up top here. You know, and this rubber stuff here. I mean, we'll see. That might hit the road. Depends on how it cleans up. You got the bags on the side uh, for putting stuff in. Uh, they look like not bad. I've seen better days, but you know, not bad. Uh, it works for what it is. Again, we're just going to go through it. We're going to clean it up. We're going to get it running. Uh, polish this up. And then, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll sell it. Try to make some money off of it. Or maybe we'll just uh, kind of keep it around, you know, to uh, have some fun with it. It didn't cost much. I mean, I bought this. I paid $400, I'll be honest with you. I'll put it right out there. I only paid $400 uh, for this boat. So, if I could clean it up and get it running and, uh, you know, we can use it to have some fun, I think we'll be okay. It, like I said, it's got a nice Mercury uh, motor. It's a 2.0. I think it's like 140 horsepower, 135 horsepower. Nice outdrive. Um, I gotta take the plugs off and see if there's any water in there. Um, don't look too bad. I mean, it's got a little oxidation on it. You know, of course, it's older. Um, we'll just have to change the oil and check it all out. But like I said, they said they did that. They said they changed the oil in it and everything. It does not look really bad, to tell you the truth. I mean, except for the oxidation, the grease fitting here and there. We'll have to grease those up. Um, you know, get a little grease in it. Clean it up. Got here for pulling a skier. So that'd be nice. Allowed it to get up and down. I'm not a big fan of that because of the outdrive. So what I might look for is a swim platform. That'd be nice to get a swim platform to come on out to about here. You know, um, so we don't have to worry about somebody getting uh, chewed up by the prop. Prop don't look bad. I mean doesn't even look like it was been banged up prop looks pretty decent um, so yeah so that's it right there that's the first look at the new boat a new project and you can see right there is the runabout she's still looking pretty good uh, you know actually let's take a quick look up here so I can show you guys I mean, I know it was on the other video, but let's take a quick peek because it's been a couple days since I looked at it. We had a little bit of rain, so I want to see how much water's in it. Oh, not much. It actually came out. Not bad. It's not too bad. It's got a little dirty, but not too bad. You see the fiberglass and the resin that we did. That's pretty good. Even on this seat right here, we had a crack right in here. I don't know if you remember, there was a crack there. Uh, that's not too bad. i got to sand this down. Um, but for the most part, that's that's pretty good. Uh, even right in here, there was a hole right there. That 
yeah that's not bad at all so what I'm going to do is just really paint the inside of this white um, and I'm going to redo the outside here on the red so that is really uh, what's up that's what's going to go on with that then I just got to rewrap the seats the, they're right over there so I'll rewrap my seats um, new plywood uh, some new white vinyl and the biggest thing is right here so I am looking for a little motor to stick on there um, at the camp it has to be uh, 10 horsepower I can't go over that so I haven't really decided uh, you know what I'm gonna do with this like I said the camp I think is where it's gonna go um, that being said it would need like a 10 horsepower motor to be on that water um, but if I found something bigger we could use it to skip around somewhere else uh, and clean it up and sell it for a few bucks because uh, we got the other one like I said that's just mostly for like you know Vincent and the kids to kind of play around with when they get a little bit bigger and uh, you know stuff like that so I kind of really got that for him as like a toy um, that boat I was looking for something more for me um, there's my nice little caddy for moving around and there's a the little platform that we got left uh, from the dock so we might turn that into like a little swim platform or something but like I said this was more for me um, I don't know I love boats I've just always loved boats um, I'd love a real big boat tell you the truth I would even be interested in something that's like a a liveaboard I think that would be pretty awesome uh, so anyways that is it this is the new the new project like I said look at that just just dirty just, just dirty uh, a little bit of bleach and uh, the power wash and I think that uh, she's gonna look pretty good once she's all cleaned up so I don't know if I'm gonna give it a power wash today or if I'm gonna wait and give it a power wash they put that added spotlight on that which is kind of cool I guess maybe we'll run some other lights on here that's what I've been kind of looking to see I could go through it I could put some uh, nice lights in here some underwater lights I think would be pretty cool in the back here on the transom area that would be pretty awesome you know I like a lot of lights they do a couple different things one you know it looks good it looks cool it looks pretty um, you know and it's very inexpensive to buy lights for these things nowadays I mean LED lights and stuff they couple bucks for a pack of them and it just takes a little bit of time uh, running them and then you're all set but the other thing is uh, safety and like I said I think some underwater lights here on the transom would be pretty cool um, you know if you're running at night so you know if you're backing up or you want to kind of see I like you said your prop and the outdrive and all that kind of hang down in the water um, you know at night you can't really see what's in the water versus you know during the day you just don't have that visibility so it just kind of helps out um, so when this isn't too bad it's just where it gets marked up on the roller I mean that's not a big deal not a big deal at all I think once it's all cleaned up and all this oxidation is all buffed out and it's nice and shiny and it looks good it's gonna be a million dollar boat so there you go you see the new project um, we'll have to get some videos going on that so if you like it do me a favor smash that like button um, share subscribe all that good things you know help grow the channel I'm trying to get a little something going here so I can have some more projects uh, some other content for you and things like that also um, 
you know, some more woodworking projects. We just picked up this table here. Uh, that's my paperwork for my boat and the filter that came with it. But uh, I just picked up this table here that I am going to be sanding down and um, finishing all up for somebody. So I have to go in and give them a call and uh, talk to them about what they're looking for as far as color. And uh, there's the go-kart. We're going to be selling that actually. Um, someone was supposed to come get that. They said they wanted it. Um, it was a family member, but you know, I've actually given them a couple months to come get the thing. So um, I don't really think they're that serious about it. Uh, I don't know. They say they are. Uh, but like I said, I, I think like, you know, two, almost three months is plenty of time to come get something. Uh, if you haven't gotten it by now, I don't think you're really uh, interested in getting it. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said, I think I'll have to take some pictures and list that on Marketplace. All right, so let's check. Oh, look at this, too. We've got the pool going. So I woke up this morning and I looked out the window and I said, What the hell happened to the pool? It was like half empty. That hose, for some reason, popped off the pool and it was draining out of the filter right there down the grass dumped half the water out of the pool I got it running in there trickling in slowly actually let's go take a peek so I got it trickling in there slowly to fill it back up I almost thought about just saying the heck with it but it is still July it's the end of July I believe today is the 30th so we still have the whole month of August and a uh, good part of September um, to use it and uh, oh Vincent uses it pretty much every day so yeah so I just got the water trickling out you know we'll fill it back up slowly I'll come back out and shut the water off in a little bit I don't want to run the uh, pump too much um, but yeah, so I don't know how that happened. Nobody was here. It must have just, it was actually this one right here. So I put it up tighter and tightened it up a little more. I don't know why that popped out. It just must have been enough where it just loosened up and popped. You know, the funny thing is, is he swims in the thing every day, jumping up and down, having a grand old time, and it never came off. So. It's one of those freak things, I guess. But anyways, hey, thanks for watching along. Thanks for following along. And uh, watch along while we finish that boat and get that boat cleaned up and uh, see what shenanigans we could do with it. I am going to go check out my girls over here. See how they're doing. I guess you could walk with me. We'll check out the ducks. And my Chewster. Yes, I said Chewster. Because it was the chicken that is actually a rooster. So you can see. Yeah, it's supposed to be a chicken, but you're a rooster, huh? Because you started crowing and you're mean. Oh, girls. What are you mean to you? How's my girls doing? Huh? Where's the big girls? Where's the big girls? They look at you with their crazy one eye. Huh. Oh, how's the babies doing? She being mean to you? Let me know if he's being mean to you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Better not be mean. Look at all the feathers out here. Yeah, are you giving the ducks a hard time? Huh? Yeah, are they giving you a hard time? Huh? Giving you a hard time. 
Who's the good girls? Who's the good girls? Yeah, huh? Tell us, say, stop giving the ducks a hard time. Crazy rooster. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to actually uh, build a separate pen. <coughs> Excuse me. And get that rooster out of there. It's mean, you know? Not really mean, but it's always beating up my ducks. And I waited like two years to get ducks because they weren't getting them down the damn road at the Agway. And I wanted to get some ducks for the boy because he wanted some ducks. Yeah, they're quacking at me. Now I gotta get some chickens because I've been waiting for eggs. My rooster isn't gonna lay any eggs. If he does, we got serious problems. Well, that's why I call it a chooster. Because I thought it was a damn chicken until it started crowing. And it crowed really weird at first. It didn't sound right. It sounded like it was choking. Oh. So. But, now I need some ducks because I need eggs. Right? But alright, well hey, thanks for watching. Follow along and again, do us a favor. Smash that like button. Keep following along. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.